Hey folks, welcome back to Fitness for Thickness. Takara here with a quick little snippet of a workout I did today. Just included a quick bike ride and um, came back and did a little upper body routine. Why am I sitting like weird? Did a little uh, upper body routine with uh, my barbell back there. So a couple snippets of that. And then I uh, ended with a quick practice session of Zumba. Uh, so if you want me to do more of an extended version of this, go through the full workout or the full Zumba practice session, whatever, uh, just let me know down below. And I hope you can get some ideas from my routine or just at least get a little motivation to get your booty moving because it wasn't easy this morning. I was struggling. Uh, so if you're feeling that way, hopefully this motivates you to keep moving forward with sticking to your workouts, at least getting something in, right? All right, here we go. So first off, I started with the single arm row. Uh, I'm gonna do eight reps on each arm and then do that set three times. Looking at my form here, not the best, but again, I had already kind of gotten a workout in, uh, on my bike at least seven miles, I'm sure. I then switched into the single arm angled barbell press. Um, so again, I'm trying to just build up my strength. Um, so, you know, without using any uh, plates right now. So I'm just using a be the barbell by itself. Uh, that is 45 pounds. Uh, so for me, that is enough. I definitely don't want to overdo it, especially if I have a class later that day. Um, next up is the stiff leg deadlift. Again, three sets of eight reps. And yes, this is not an upper body workout uh, or exercise, but it just felt good. And I wanted to stretch out my hamstring. So I did that. I then switched over into the, some people will call this a reverse curl into military press. Um, some people are just going to call this uh, overhead shoulder press. So depending on who you are, uh, that's what we're going to call it. Again, I did three sets of eight reps. And um, again, I just snuck in another deadlift there because it just feels good to stretch out my hamstrings and my back. So, um, that was pretty much it. Something short and sweet. Now it's time to dance. Yeah. 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 Temperatura caliente. Me bailan hasta los presidentes. Quema los nenas. Tú estás que quema, 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 quema. Sube la DJ. Tú estás prendido. No le vamos a dar, no. No le vamos a dar. Ahora ponme salsa. Ahora ponme salsa. Ahora ponme salsa. Báilame salsa. Salsa con esto la voz. Baila con uno y con dos, mené y baja, mené y baja, que la gente se activa y pum pum, male pum pum, la gente quiere zoom zoom, la gente quiere pum pum, mené y baja, da, dale pum pum, dale pum pum, pum dale pum 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 pum, pum dale pum pum, ya la gente se activa. Oh. 
right, guys. So uh, next up, I switched into part of my cool down slash recovery with uh, using my Hypervolt, which is a battery operated muscle massager. Um, I'm sure that is not the technical description of it, uh, but uh, you basically, you know, are going to use it to apply pressure and vibration to uh, your muscles. And, you know, this helps relieve, uh, you know, soreness and a lot of different um, a lactic acid buildup, just things that you want to avoid uh, and pay attention to uh, when you're working out. And definitely as an instructor, when you are, you know, teaching multiple classes in a day or you're just uh, overtraining your body, which we have a tendency to do, unfortunately. So um, this for me is kind of a nice relaxation piece and it really, really does work. It really helps. I know it seems trivial. Uh, I'm not the best uh, person to necessarily stretch after all of my workouts. So uh, for me, this has been a game changer. Um, uh, and I definitely recommend the Hypervolt. So I have, I think the original release. So this one's a little older, um, but now they have a newer version where it lights up according to, I guess, uh, 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 according to different areas uh, that may have more tension, I guess, or that need more pressure or resisting the machine a little more. I believe that's how that works. Uh, so if you are interested in purchasing a Hypervolt, I would definitely recommend it. Um, or maybe something similar. I have no experience with any other uh, massage guns out there. Um, but this one I love. And I right now I'm using that. Uh, flathead attachment so this one comes with four different attachments and the one I use the most is going to be the flathead which is what you see here um, and I right now have it on the lowest setting uh, as far as vibration you know power and it's pretty strong I'm uh, uh, yeah see I guess I'm just a wussy and um, you know I'm really sensitive and really tight in my muscles so this a little piece of equipment really helps me. Uh, it's not the cheapest, uh, you know, not the most uh, affordable piece of equipment in some people's opinion. Um, but if you're one to actually want to help your muscles recover, and uh, if you're currently spending money on, let's say, like a, a massage, you know, every week or every two weeks or whatever it is, whether you're investing into chiropractic or you're investing into yoga or whatever. Uh, you are spending money on as far as uh, part of your recovery routine i think it's worth it because you know this may be 200 maybe 250 now uh the older version but i definitely have seen the newer version for like 350 and that is from the hypervolt website so i've also seen it on amazon so if you're an amazon shopper i will definitely put a link for that down below in the description box um but as you see here it doesn't take a long time you don't have to uh, maybe especially uh, equipped to use it. Uh, you can use it by yourself. It's very lightweight. Um, and I definitely just love this thing. I love, love, love the Hypervolt. Um, and just make sure that you are doing both sides of whatever you are massaging out. Uh, for me, a very, very sore spot, tender spot is going to be right there on my kind of hip side, uh, you know, glute area, uh, IT band kind of insertion point, like right there. Oh my God, is always so, so tight for me. So this really, really helps loosen it up. And the next day I'm not uh, so sore. I'm just going to do a down, a down dog. Okay, stretching it out. Probably stretching out my arms and back again. More of those quads. Yeah, my legs were definitely tight this day.
So now I'm just kind of walking in, looking for different pressure points um, because sometimes sitting sitting down, you don't always necessarily um, are you know always able to necessarily feel uh, the same pressure points as if you were moving or walking around. So here I'm just kind of feeling around to see what area may need a little more attention or if I can move on to another area. All right, that was the quick, quick insight to uh, my workout today. So I appreciate you watching. Thanks for your time. And if you like videos like this or just want to see more videos in general, let me know down below. Click the like button. Y'all know what to do, all that jazz. Uh, so have a great day and I'll see you soon. Bye.